good Tuesday afternoon. We're back. We're back. Welcome to Project Arrowhead. I am your host, Jim Sackowitz, along with Glenn Swy. And uh, we've been going for a couple weeks, but uh, the phoenix has risen from the ashes. Yeah, we were getting condolence cards. But, you know, yeah. <laughs> and between my neck and then uh, being sick and then me. Me too, yeah. I'm, I'm not going to say the four-letter S word, but uh, that white stuff was falling and spring has sprung. Ah. So how's everybody been? Been good. Good been, no, better. <laughs> better, yeah, better. better. So, you know, crazy stuff's been going on. Oh, yeah. Just like, I can't even begin to tell you what kind of crazy stuff's been going on. Um, but the first thing I want to start with is this kid, David Hogg. Hogg? Hogg? How do you pronounce his name? Boss Hogg. H-O-G-G. Okay. Now, don't get me wrong. I I'm... I'm glad they're they're expressing their voice. I'm glad they're making their voice heard. Um, I'm 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 glad they're stepping up. However, don't read a script. If you want to make your voice heard, make your voice heard about the actual problem. Uh, they're they're slamming the NRA, and then he does his Heil Hitler hail, um, hand raise. And then the part that gets me is we don't even know if this kid was at the school. This, this kid. Have you seen that? He, he's never even been to that school. He's Well, no, he is a student at the school. I heard but he, he graduated in 2015 and he, from California. He lived in California. Yeah, I, I researched that. Yeah. Um, that was fake. Huh. Um, he was a student at the school. However... If you listen to his interviews, <laughs> this blows my mind. In the first interview, he's talking about how they had to hide and 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 hide in the classrooms, and they heard the shots ringing out, and they were all scared. And then he goes to a different place to speak. Well, I wasn't at the school when the shooting started. I was at home, and I rode my bike three miles. Yep, heard I'm that. Like, whoa, 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 yeah. Wait a minute. You just got done saying that you hid in a classroom when the shots rang out. You heard the first shots, and now you're telling people that you were not at the school, that you graduated the school, and rode your bike three miles so that you could document the school shooting. Two completely different stories. So so what is it? Were you in the school? I'm thinking not because it, it apparently you've graduated to riding your bike to the school, which again, I'm sorry, it's an active shooter scene. If I ride my bike to the school, they're not gonna well I'm not gonna let you in. Back in the day, <laughs> if I was a, a, a high school student and I rode my bike to the scene of an active shooter so that I could document it. They're not going to let me anywhere near it. So what is it? I mean, you've got a platform. You've got a movement. And I'm not talking about a bowel movement. I'm talking about a movement. All right, you've got people listening to you. You have the platform to make your voice heard. And you're going to read a script. You're going to lie. I mean, it's it's ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. All right, here's here's an idea. Stop attacking the NRA, okay? Because I'll, I'll tell you what, right now, and I don't have to look it up. None of these shooters were done by anybody belonging to the NRA. That's right. <laughs> All right. And then I hear that this kid, Mister Hogue, is one of the biggest bullies in that high school. And given the, the video um, that I heard where apparently he either didn't realize cameras were rolling or it was a cell phone video and the stuff he was saying, okay, I believe it. I absolutely believe it. So, now, let's do this, okay? Let's make our voices heard. 
let's start with treating each other with respect. Stop the bullying. Stop the bullying. Stop making people feel less than than whatever. Okay? That's where it starts. None of these weapons um, for the school shootings were purchased legally. None of these weapons were obtained legally. None of these weapons should have been there because it's a gun-free zone. So by, by you know, what you guys are saying, it should have never happened. Well, it should have never happened. But it's time to stop with the sugarcoating crap and looking for true solutions so that no innocent child has to lose their life. Um, Maryland. The shooting in Maryland. Okay? Mm-hmm. Why aren't you hearing a lot about it? Two reasons. Because the big black monster gun wasn't used. <clears throat> and the school resource officer ended the threat. Immediately. Although it has now been determined um, that the shooter did take his own life. Uh, There was, I guess, two shots. The SRO shooting at the gunman and the gunman shooting himself. And uh, unfortunately, um, Meadow, I believe that was the young girl's name, um, she succumbed to her, her injuries. Right. And um, may our hearts pour out to the family. And um, I listened to an interview with the brother and the father, and they've all said the same thing. All right, stop with the political agenda. If you want change, the change starts with yourself. Again, the biggest way to stop all of this is to stop bullying. The second way to stop this is now. Now I am a, I am an NRA member. All right, I have an NRA card. Um, I am for universal background checks. You want to purchase a weapon? You want to own a weapon? Great. If you get past the FBI background check. then I have no problem with that. It also comes back to uh, parenting. If parents teach their children to respect one another, to not be little shits, excuse my language, um, that's a start. That's where it does start. That is, starts that's at absolutely home. where it starts. Starts at home. And if you look at it now, <clears throat> you got... <clears throat> Excuse me. You know, back back when I was young, we all sat at the dinner table, ate dinner together. We didn't have cell phones, iPads, tampons, anything. Yeah, it was. <laughs> There's no tampons back then. I, well, you know what I mean. Um, you actually talk to people. Yeah. You know, you sat there as a family. You know, we used to sit there. We'd play Uno. We'd play um, Yahtzee. Yahtzee, yep. Yeah. We didn't have these iPhones or iPads. Now you look at it. Um, I work in a restaurant. Families come in to eat at the restaurant, and it's it's sad. It is so sad because everybody's on their own personal phone doing whatever, texting or or tweeting. Or, or they're doing the same thing they are regularly at like, home. Exactly. Yeah. So, again, it starts at home. But if you want to make change, make the right change. I think I showed a video uh, a few weeks back where an undercover ATF agent on the streets of Chicago purchased several Uzis 
several AK-47s, and a freaking RPG. Okay? He purchased a grenade launcher on the streets of Chicago. So what do you do? Go down to his local Ocean State job lot and pick one up? Where do you get one of these things? Right on the street. Oh, my God. And that is what is driving me insane. I'm all for marching. I'm all for expressing your your, your First Amendment rights. Um, but be realistic. Be realistic. Look at the problem. Attacking the NRA. What is that going to do? None of these people were NRA members. Not one. Everybody's a whole. Well, the NRA is a terrorist organization. I mean, you know what? The NRA contributes to political parties. Everybody, major corporations, contribute to political parties. Are, are we going to ban them all or just because it's it's guns? Well, then we should ban Planned Parenthood from contributing to anybody. Mm-hmm. Same, Same thing, isn't it? it? And that brings me to my next thing. We have a beautiful facility here in Connecticut, called the AquaTurf. Mm. I've been there a couple times. Um, the The facility is just absolutely beautiful. The food is delicious. Um, they hold event after event after event there. Now, the NRA has been holding their... I guess it's a dinner or whatever it is. But they've been holding it there for 25 years. 25 years. The proceeds from this year's NRA dinner are going to the St. Jude's Children's Hospital. Now, enter Senator Dipshit, Chris Murphy. (laughs) Okay? (laughs) He's calling on a boycott of the AquaTurf because apparently they're they're not supposed to do business the way they normally do business and 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 tell the NRA no after 25 years you're not allowed to hold your dinner here you know why why is it that that they feel it's okay to discriminate in that sense but if a baker or a or a clergyman doesn't want to uh, do a service for a gay couple or something like that because it's against their beliefs, and that's not okay. But it's okay if, if you have uh, something against guns, and it's all right to discriminate against a gun holder or the NRA. Right, and that's that's where all of this came in. Isn't that a double standard? It, there? it is a double standard. I, I, I really can't understand that. It's discrimination all around, so then just either have it or don't have it. Mm-hmm. But do, don't do one or the other. It's got to be, you know. And Well, the one thing that I like is the majority of people here in Connecticut, at least the ones that I read on the, uh, on the website, are defending <clears throat> the AquaTurf. Oh, yeah. Because it's just... It's stupid. It, it is stupid. I, they could serve whoever they want to serve. They could they could host whatever they want to host. They could have people come in as long as they pay their money to rent out the place or whatever. Have you know? They they could serve anybody they want. It's their business. Now now you're saying that the government is telling businesses not to do business with someone. Well, mm-hmm. that's exactly what they don't want to do. You know, so it, all this is just crazy. It's all so one-sided. It's it's mind blowing. It's it's ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous. They're using the First Amendment to discriminate against the Second Amendment. Not even it's and not even the Second Amendment. They're using the First Amendment to. Discriminate against people, period. Mm. Uh, you know? How, how are those kids at St. Jude's going to feel? <laughs> you know, his, all that money is coming to them. But now all of a sudden, oh, oh <laughs> NRA, bad. No, can't do it. No. 
No, that's... NRA is not a terrorist organization. They're not the ones going around shooting people. They're an organization for gun owners. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I don't get it. And, I mean, they're not perfect. No, no. They're not perfect. Nobody is. There's stuff that that they could compromise a little bit. And like I said, I'm an NRA member, and I absolutely 100% agree with universal background checks. Absolutely. Absolutely. That, that's no question about that, really. You don't want a terrorist or, or, or whatever, somebody who's who's got a long record or, or what have you, getting a hold of a gun that's considered dangerous. But, you know, hey, we're, we're, it's the same thing with the, with the Planned Parenthood. You know, not for nothing, but they kill more kids than guns do. Mm-hmm. And so. now, and now... Since the Parkland shooting, okay, 118 teens have died from DUI. Right. Think about it. Right. 118 teenagers have died from DUI. An average of 11 teens a day die from texting while driving. Are we going to march on the DMV? (laughs) <laughs> Down with the DMV. I mean, it's, it, or triple A? Is it triple A's fault? AAA, is it the yeah. DMV's fault? Huh? That's right. That's One right. of these days, people are going to stand up and take responsibility. For their own acts. For their own actions. Right. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. No stable individual wakes up and says, I'm going to go shoot up a school. The shooter in in Parkland, Florida, had what twenty nine run runs in run ins with the police. Yeah, at least twenty nine. At least speaking of schools and guns and all this stuff going on, I don't know if you guys caught the local news, but in Waterford, Connecticut, I believe the middle school, they found a round of ammunition uh, in the school. The school went into lockdown uh, earlier this morning. Wow. All right, let's let's call it what it is. They found a bullet on the floor. Yeah. 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 Let's not embellish it and make it sound like they found a bullet on the but floor. But they did a shelter in place, and uh, I guess I could see that they they want to uh, you know keep everybody safe. Cause, but you, what is a mm-hmm. what is a live round doing inside a school? Kid could have brought it. Kid could have found it. Brought it in. You know the young kids. It could have been something. It's yeah, cool. It could have been anything you know? or. Or they're they're part of a rifle team, or they went out shooting this weekend with their parent, and right. one of them act you know was left in their backpack or something like that, or their pocket or whatever. You know, again, it comes back to taking personal responsibility, make sure that that stuff's not where it's not supposed to be. Right. You know, I just came across a little thing here: people shot in Chicago in the first fifty-seven days of two thousand eighteen. There's a total of 349. And Chicago has the toughest gun laws in the country. Yeah, they're gun-free, aren't they? Is that uh, Chicago's a gun-free city? <laughs> gun-free city, I think. Uh, you know, that's 349 with the toughest gun laws in the country. Taking away guns, you like you said before, you could get them on any street corner. Anybody who deals drugs deals guns. It just goes hand in hand. Ninety percent. Well, let's let's look at the Valhalla. You know what the Valhalla is? Mm-hmm. Man, how many weapons was Whitey Bulger sending over to the IRA? Oh, forget about it. Forget about it. Yeah, tons. Yeah, he was uh, he was sending a, a boatload of uh, of weapons over to Ireland. Um, I mean, you, uh, just look up the Valhalla, and you'll see. Apparently, you know, all those weapons were nowhere near legal. No, no. Weapons come in this country with every drug shipment that comes into oh, this country. Oh, absolutely. You get shipments of weapons right along with them. It just goes hand in hand. Like we all said this before on our other shows, it goes hand in hand. A person could get a gun easier illegally than they could ever have gotten legally. Yeah, at, at any no time in history. Checks, no checks. Exactly. The, um, no serial numbers, no nothing. The other thing about this Parkland shooter, 
Um, and I'm not. I I refuse to put his name out there because I'm mm-hmm. not giving the little shit any publicity. Again, excuse my language. Mm-hmm. Um, he posted on YouTube that he was going to shoot up a school. He said he was going to be the next school shooter. And he also told people that. That was sent to the FBI. And guess what? The FBI dropped the ball. Yep, they did absolutely nothing they about it. did not transfer it. I forgot where it went. I don't know if it went to Washington or Quantico or wherever. But it did not get sent to the Florida field office. And uh, you see what happens. No, they arrested the guy for taking a picture of a submarine in jail for a year. And here's a person who's saying that he's going to shoot up a school. He wants to be the next big uh, school shooter, excuse me. And uh, he told people that. He posted that. And they never followed up on it. I mean, that's... And plus, like you said, he he got... uh, at least 29 phone calls to the police about him. So he's had a long history of either problems or, or stuff with the police. I mean, this is just like being on a terrorist terrorist watch. It's, uh, you know, if you hear something, you're supposed to follow up on it. They're telling people, if you see something, report it. Well, people are reporting it, and they're not doing anything about it. So it doesn't mm-hmm. matter if you report it. It matters if somebody's going to do something when you report it. And here it is again with the with that David Hogue kid. Claims to be a survivor of the school shooting on February 14th. Yeah. Was not even at the school that day. Heard about it on television. Rode a bike 3.5 miles to get to the scene where he started to manipulate the story and ins- insert himself into it. <laughs> Sad. They said his uh, mother worked for CNN. And his father was a former FBI agent. Really? Well, there you have it. I mean, you know, CNN. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like I said, I need to chime in. Where's the chimes? <laughs> ding, ding. Okay. Uh, for our radio listeners, because we're broadcasting today live on both our uh, stations, uh, Jams and uh, Rock and Metal. So if you can't uh, continue to watch on Facebook Live because the boss might be creeping around or whatever, uh, we are live on United FM Jams and Rock and Metal. So if you're listening there right now, the studio number is 860-626-5193. Again, 860-626-5193 for our radio listeners. Call in. They're too afraid to. Okay, back to uh, back to Jim. Yeah, if you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, feel free to call in. Um, you know, we are we're very open minded, and we will. Uh, you know, no opinions a bad opinion, no questions a bad question. Doesn't have to be about this particular subject. <laughs> call in about anything. I'm. I, Even if it's about New London politics or drama or Facebook drama or whatever. There is a a, a local forum called the Marvel Forum. Um, this individual just posted, there's a fire on Carolina Drive. Our house is filling with smoke. Why would you post instead of calling 911? <laughs> Face, Facebook is the new 911. Yeah. I'm like... <laughs> Look at my bedroom is on fire. Do you know what? Hey, do you know guys know what local Facebook group is getting real hot with drama and craziness? Is Whale's Tale Two? You guys got to look up that group and check it out. I think it's more like a page, but it's called Whale's Tale Two. And uh, they 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 post some very interesting uh, political and uh, local view opinions in there. I believe there's a handful of people that uh, contribute to the uh, page. Whale's Tale. To TWO for all your local shenanigans. Hmm. Wow. Sorry, did I throw you off? No, got mm-hmm. it. So if you're listening, let me know. Give me a shout out. Uh, hit me up on Facebook. Shoot me a text so I know you're listening and I can uh, I can give you a shout out. It's easier to uh, hit up my page. So I can see it um, easier. 
Okay, we do have an update to that shelter in place. It's been lifted in Waterford Middle School. Oh, yeah, that was lifted a while ago. Yeah. <laughs> and now I'm, I'm, I'm going to go one more point on this, and then I'm going to drop it. Oh, boy. Um, the other girl with the short hair, um, who's also behind this whole movement, Oh, with the Cuban flag on her jacket. Okay, just take my story away. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, sorry. Uh, <laughs> no, I apologize. Fine. That's fine. <laughs> yep, <Yeah>, we're done. <laughs> Welcome to the Glenn Show. <laughs> yes, I finally took over. <laughs> She's so sensitive. <laughs> I'm sorry, Jim. <laughs> nah, just there. Would you like me to shut off his lights and microphone? No. <laughs> nope. Yeah, the uh, she shows up there wearing the Cuban flag on her um, on her jacket, on the shoulder of her jacket. Very communist of her. It's just so ironic and, and ridiculous that you know here she is representing a communist country. Who, uh, you know, they were in cahoots with Russia. They, um, yep. Yep. Just don't get it. Mm -hmm. There's a reason why, if she is of Cuban descent, there's a reason why her family is here. Because they got kicked out of Cuba by Castro. Yeah. Nobody left Cuba unless they were kicked out or, or, Old Fidela. Boarded a boat, you know, a homemade boat and tried to get away. There's nothing great about Cuba. <laughs> but he's trying to leave. Exactly. Well, it is what it is. Want to, uh, want... 5 o'clock p.m. Hey, 5 o'clock p.m.? Uh, 5 o'clock p.m. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot to shut that thing off. Freaking okay. bells and whistles going off in this damn place. And... A lot of things talking around here. <laughs> right? <laughs> oh, I forgot to shut off the ham radio equipment behind the curtain. So, sorry. Mm. Don't, don't look at that guy behind the curtain. <laughs> I, uh, He's yeah. the wizard. Do, 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 I want to give a shout out to my cousin, Jim Wildbear Gilman. Um, He's home. Resting and recuperating after having two heart attacks. Oh, really? So, well, yeah. Oh. Yeah, glad you're doing better. Thanks yeah, for hope listening. you're doing better. Responsible law-abiding citizens. Okay. Sorry, I'm just reading more of that. Uh, <laughs> more of the gun control stuff. Okay. So, what else has been going on? Uh, in the world or personally? We already said there's nothing going on personally. Yeah, so. exactly. <laughs> Too much crap in the world. In the world, I gotta, I got I just gotta share this with you. My um, Too much to keep up with. My my cousin posted this. Or, well, he didn't post this, but he sent this to me earlier. And uh, what the hell did I delete it? Damn it. Anyway, it was a, a posting from uh, from State Senator Kathy Austin about how water is sacred and, and this and that. So he he posted back. He says, "Then then why is the government allowing all these uh, oil companies to run pipes through Native American country and contaminating the water?" Good point. Mm -hmm. Very good point. Very good point. Also, um, I want to say that uh, our sister show, Project 26, um, for now is no more. Wah, wah, wah. And um, hopefully, hopefully we will get them on the air here and uh, you can continue listening to Project 26. Um. That will not be a problem. Just got some things going on in the works right now. And uh, hopefully Project 26 will be back on the air, um, possibly here at United FM Radio. 
So, Dave, Alexis, we got you guys. Oh, yeah. Yeah, um, and they get to keep their page if they, you know, stop coming here or whatever. <sighs> I, I would love to discuss the whole situation, but I know we can't, but. Wow, hey, tomorrow's the opening day of baseball season. Wow. I don't watch baseball. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Have you ever been to a baseball game? Who? Me? Yeah. Yeah, several. It's I was up in somewhere Pawkatuck or I seen uh, Rhode Island somewhere. Billy Mays play. Really? Yep. Did you get hit by a ball? Nope. Damn. You got to try to catch it. I remember I went to a Yankees game, yeah. and uh, when Yogi Berra was coaching there. Yogi Bear. Yogi Berra. Wow. And he was he was uh, at home plate, taking a little batting. Nobody was pitching. He was just tossing the ball up and hitting it. <laughs> he tossed the ball, hit it, home run, <laughs> just from tossing it up. I'll never forget that. I was four rows behind home plate. He was amazing even then, and he was up in age. Yes. <laughs> On the world of you can't make this up. Ah, oh, yes. <laughs> Cocaine was found in Coors Light nationwide. Yep. It has been reported by the FDA that cocaine has been found in thousands of Coors Light beers nationwide. I bought 12 cases myself. I uh, <laughs> knew you were going to say something like that. No wonder why Coors Light's everybody's favorite beer. Absolutely. <laughs> you know, they're brewed up there in the mountains of Colorado. Nobody sees what's going on. What the hell? Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, I got, a, I got a good funny one here. In Hawaii. Scuba diver hospitalized after his penis gets stuck in a giant clam. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. <laughs> Don't know what he was doing with this clam, but obviously. What, what, uh, what website what, is that on? Come on. Right here. Oh, right here. That right doesn't here. tell our listeners anything. You can go right here. And World it'll... World News Daily Report. Oh com. my God! Is it one of those tabloid yes. sites of fake news? Yeah, uh, it's funny though. It's that funny. You should see the guy's face. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Wouldn't that be sexual harassment? Clam, the clam could. I think the whole story is sexual <laughs> harassment. The clam could sue. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Oh, wah. It was horrible. <laughs> How about some local news? You got any local news or local funny news? I mean, uh, Channel Thirty's got some good weird news on there. Or no, it's no Channel Three's got the weird news uh, articles. Channel Three is a weird news article. <laughs> All right, so I'm guessing I'm, tra I'm trying to pull it up here on uh, Wednesday, April fourth. Which is next Wednesday? Yeah. Okay, we'll go with that. Next Wednesday. Um, they're asking everybody to wear teal. And um, that is in honor of the young lady who was killed in Maryland. And if I could get it up here, we would... Uh, Hmm, okay, I can't. The computer that Jim is using right now is also handling the video feed, which kind of taxes the computer a little bit, so that's why it's running a little slow. I'm going to end up putting a laptop over there for you, Jim, so you don't have to deal with the slugginess. Copy. Anyway, next Wednesday, April 4th, they are asking everybody to wear teal. Um in honor of I believe her name was Melissa mm. I believe so and what happened to her that was a girl that was shot and killed in the uh, Maryland shooting that's this is you know every time we turn our heads you count count the three and something pops up in the news about a shooting somewhere 
And now now it creeps in closer to home because they, they find a, a bullet at a local school. I mean, it's just getting a little scary. I bet you we could walk down the road and find several bullets in the street. Yeah, well, that's the other thing, too. Um, there's been a lot of uh, armed robberies here in New London. Um, for some reason, our local paper uh, doesn't like to report on everything. And uh, last summer, we had a handful of muggings on Bank Street where all the clubs and bars are. Mm. Paper never reported on that. That's not right. They should. No, we're, we're going to start. Uh, try to be safe. Right. We're going to start publishing stuff on, on United FM. So, I mean, this is just a whole bunch of, I mean, stuff's going crazy. All you can do is be aware of everything around you and try to, you know, keep safe and not put yourself in a situation where you could be in danger. Just keep aware of your surroundings. That's right. Yeah, if you see something, say something, and then hope that the FBI acts. But don't be don't be seen saying something. Yeah, because then you're a tattletale. And, oh, yeah. Gang reta- retaliation and all that stuff. And then um, there's a website, uh, nextdoor.com. I don't know if you've ever heard of it, but you can talk to your neighbors. And it's kind of like uh, Neighborhood Watch Online. So if you ever get a chance, uh, check out nextdoor.com. Not next, go- not, not next door girl not, not, or not, not, not next door <laughs> chick. You know, I did not eat because I was in here running through everything, making sure your show was going to run smoothly. So I'm a little off. All I had to, was the coffee you brought me. Thank you very much. Sure. All right. Here we go. I want you guys to just respond with it. Don't be reading my screen over there. <laughs> I want you guys to respond with a yes or a no. Can you handle that? Just yes or no? Okay. Maybe. Uh, all right. Maybe. Yeah. This is a test to see if you're older than dirt. I am, so. <laughs> all right. It's <clears throat> if you remember any of these things, yes or no? Yes. Number one, blackjack chewing gum. No. God, is that in the seventies or something? Seventies. Hey, there How we go. Are- I said just respond with a yes or no. Yeah, I said no. And leave it to Keith <laughs> to screw the pooch. <laughs> Holy crap. Jack, I, I, don't, I don't know. Okay. No, okay. no, no. no. Okay. Damn millennial. <laughs> Number two. Wax Coke-shaped bottles with colored sugar water. Yes. Yes. Number three. Butch wax. No. No. <laughs> Not that I can remember. Not even going there. All right. <laughs> <laughs> number number four, candy cigarettes. Yes. 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 Yep. Yep. Number five, soda machines with glass bottles. Yes. Yes. Number six, howdy doody. I remember them. I didn't see them, though. Um... I think I was dropped on, on my head when I was a kid, so I might not remember a lot of stuff from back then. I don't know. Is that a yes or a no? <laughs> yeah, you went around that, thank you. No. <laughs> okay. Restaurants with tableside jukeboxes. Yes. yes. Uh, Great Oak and Norwich used to have them. Yeah, but now because of copyright laws, um, it requires some blood and arm and a finger on top of you know, a $20 bill just to play a couple of songs. Wow. Mm. Number eight, home milk delivery in glass bottles. Yes. Mm, yes. Okay. Because I used to... Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine, party telephone lines. Actually, yes. That's where I met uh, you, Jim. <laughs> thought I was a chick. Well, he didn't mean one of those 900 numbers. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow. He did get dropped on his head when he was doing that. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. And yesterday, too. Oh, man. <laughs> Number 10, newsreels before the movies. No. Yeah. I mean, I've heard of Maybe. them, seen them on TV, but I, not when I was at the movies. All right. 45 RPM records. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yep, yep. Number 12, PF Flyers. Yeah. Mm, not really. That was a yes? Yeah. What the hell is it? Because I have no idea what it is. 
What, the, the sleds? Or, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, why, why, why don't they just put that? I think it was a sled. I, I think you're right now that you mentioned yeah. that. But 13, carrying a metal lunchbox. Definitely. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yep. I had a G.I. Joe. <laughs> I had a Dukes of Hazard. I had Star Wars. <laughs> I had to, I had to race this one. The Dukes Mine was of Hazard. Older. Mine was from 69. <laughs> I still have the Dukes of Hazard's lunch pill box and Whoa. the mug, everything. Yep. All right. Yeehaw! <laughs> telephone, telephone numbers with word prefix, like Olive 6971. No, it was, that was yeah, be- that was before me. Yeah, those are like those. Yeah, but they still had old phones laying around even during your time. Well, yeah, right? I mean, I've heard of them, but they, we, we didn't go by that then. Uh, the, Andy, used, the Andy rocks. Griffith Show. Oh, yeah. No. Can't help you with that one. Really? Really? No. That was on to the 70s. <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 okay. The little Opie? <laughs> Okay, soda fountains. Yep. No. Is I mean, is a soda fountain different than uh, than what you get now? Like you go to Burger King or McDonald's and you go with a soda fountain. And, yeah, I don't know. these are like uh, ice cream soda fountains. Really? Yeah, they served uh, ice cream sodas, egg creams, all that stuff, uh, shakes. Okay. okay, all right. They used to have one up at. Uh, a uh, drugstore on the corner of my road. Yeah, most of them were on, in drugstores yeah. for some reason. Yeah. All right. Roller skate keys. Oh, I, yeah, I've seen mm, them. Yeah. Didn't use them. I've never seen them. Can't roller skate. They used to have a great <laughs> uh, great skate in Norwich. Yep. Many moons ago. But you've actually seen roller skate keys? I think so. I've seen them. I don't think I've ever seen them. I always just put the roller skates on and skated. Yeah. I've never seen keys. I can't skate, so I didn't need one. <laughs> 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 All right. S&H green stamps. Yeah, no. I remember those. No. Yep, definitely remember yep. those. Used to stick them in the book Yep. and buy get stuff with them after that. <laughs> those were like the first, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what you'd, uh, what you'd um, compare them to, like, like when you went to uh, McDonald's, Subway, and the- Subway, and you'd you'd get the buy so many, and yeah, like kind of like McDonald's Monopoly game. <laughs> yeah, 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 absolutely. Blue flash bulbs. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, little, yep. little little cubes that you had to stick on the freaking the, camera. What, the one ten cameras. Remember them? They were thin. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I remember that. Yep, rectangle, thin. All right, so I'm saying that you guys got about 50% of those, right? At least. All right. Um, 50% means you're getting there, but you're not older than dirt yet. Well, I think I got more than 50%. No, I don't think you got, I don't think you got more than 50%. Oh, all right. No. No, this is pre-millennials. Well, I'm a baby boomer. Yeah. I'm the last of the boomers. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, 65 was last of the boomers. Mine's 64. Was it 65? Yeah, 65 is the last boomer. Very nice. You know how I know that? Because of the hepatitis commercial on TV. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it says if you are if you were born 65 and before, you, you could have hepatitis. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So you get a little bit of history with these commercials nowadays. <laughs> wow. That's sad. <laughs> that is sad. Yeah. All right. So we figured out that you're not as old as dirt yet. No. Mm-hmm. Right. Hey, you looking for something good to do this weekend? Come on down to the Lansdowne Pub. Daily specials, live music every weekend. Uh, this Saturday night. Starting at 10 o'clock, we have the music of Red Light. Once again, Lansdowne, Stop. <laughs> Lansdowne Pub, located in the Mohegan Sun. Come see the Big Three, Avalon Nightclub, Vista Lounge, and Lansdowne Pub. Are we getting paid for that? <laughs> getting paid big, 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 big money for that. All right. 
I get a free dinner. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, hey. Yeah. It's Easter's this weekend. That's right. On well, April Fool's Day. The weather don't even feel like it, though. Matter of fact. Oh, it will. It's I, have some, be... I have some bad news about Wednesday when you're ready. It's going to be uh, nice and warm. Rainy, but warm. So, um, yep. want to yep. wish everybody a happy Easter. Um, happy Easter. If, if you celebrate it, if not, just have a great Sunday. Good or Friday. Is, that, is, next, is this Friday? Good Friday. is Friday, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, hope everybody has an uh, outstanding weekend. Yep. And, Enjoy the holiday. Yeah, I will. Definitely will. (laughs) Al Sharpton's brother charged in shooting murder hours after anti-gun march. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Wonderful. Al Sharpton. Doesn't he owe us money? Yeah. Yeah, I guess he owes a lot of it. (laughs) People say, why is he not in jail? Who knows? Who knows? Unbelievable, this world. What it's coming to. I don't know. Hey, you know what? I finally watched the last Star Wars movie. The The Last Jedi. Oh, yeah? Yep, finally got to see it. How was I that? haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen it yet? Well, I'm not going to give anything away, but um, it was good. It was, it was, it was good. It was, um, I was kind of wondering what direction they were going to go, and it was, uh, Um, it was good. It was definitely, definitely good. It really, really want to see the next one to see where they're going to, uh, it's good as long as it held your intention, you your attention, you didn't start to doze off. Oh yeah. It definitely, uh, yeah, it, yeah. it, it kept my attention the whole movie. So what's that like star Wars 59 or something though? Uh, no. Are you sure? The series is one through nine and this was episode eight. Yeah, but there's been like 20 of them before that episode one through nine. No, there hasn't, Glenn. Sure there has. No, it started with episode four back in 1978, and then they did five and six. What about Star Wars? Then they went back and did one, two, and three. Now they've done seven. Then they did... uh, What about the original Star Wars in the 70s? I just said that. What did you say? I just said they did Star Wars episode four in 1978. How was that episode four if it was the first one? It's the, the first one. They started with episode four. They did four, five, and six. Okay. Then they went back, did one, two, and three, and now they're doing seven, eight, and nine. Well, you must have went to a different school. <laughs> to get on the train there, buddy. <laughs> Usually, I, I used to start with one. <laughs> yeah, well. One, they, two, three, four. Yeah, well, they started with episode four. Can we shut his mic off? <laughs> <laughs> no, they did. They started with episode four. Okay. Um, I was and, unaware of this. I'm sorry. Have you ever seen it? Which? The original Star Wars? Yeah, in the movies. Right? And in the big screen when it comes up and it says, Episode 4, A New Hope? Yeah, I don't remember oh, that. Oh, yeah. See, that, that, was th- that was how many years ago? 40 years ago. <laughs> wow. You haven't seen it since? No, I watched it once. Wasn't that good enough? I think he's got to watch uh, Rogue to understand. i seen that. Rogue was very good. Rogue... Uh... Rogue gave me a better understanding of everything. Yep, Rogue took place between episode three and episode four, and uh, yeah, it did definitely. I I, I like that movie. I was wondering how it was going to be without any of the original cast, and uh, it was good. Um, they're also doing another movie called Solo, which Han Solo. <laughs> I got you again. <laughs> Yes, Han Solo. I'm too quick for you there. <laughs> it starts, uh, it, it gives you the backstory on Han Solo. Okay. Yeah. Pretty soon there'll be nothing left. Well, I, you can only do so much. What are you going to do? Hmm. You know, there's one more to the original trilogy, and um, then that's it. Then you got to, you'll have to, they may, who knows? Uh, I mean, they were even talking about doing, like, a Netflix series. Of Star Wars? Of Star Wars, yeah. Wow. That might be interesting. It could be. Mm. I think it could be huge. It could be. It could be very huge. 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 It's huge. Um, 
Also, The Walking Dead has uh, died. Well, it's been doing pretty good. Yeah. Very, very interesting um, way they're going. Really good. Um, so hopefully, uh, hopefully they keep up with the good storylines and... They've obviously, they tried to stick to the comic books as much as they could, um, you know, with a few changes here and there, but uh, Walking Dead still really, really good. I just watched the show The Terror. Um, that started last night, and that's supposed to be based on a true story. And uh started off slow, but it picked up, and uh, it was pretty good. I'm guessing you didn't see that last night? No, I didn't. Meh. Yeah. <laughs> takes place back in, I want to say, 1845? Somewhere around there. Somewhere in the 1800s. What was it again? The Terror. Oh, okay. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, other than that. Okay, people, I just got to say one thing. If you're going to Photoshop stuff or, or pass something off as something, try to make it a little more convincing. They're showing that Emma Gonzalez... It's not her attacking a Second Amendment supporter's car at the march uh, for our lives rally. <laughs> it's actually Britney Spears. Yeah, I was just going to say that famous thing where she was hitting the car with uh, the umbrella. So come on, let's do a little bit better job on the fake stuff. <laughs> All right. At least make it a little more convincing than that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> And now, Facebook is supposedly trying to cut down on the the fake news and the Photoshop stuff. Yeah, they're not doing too good. Facebook's in a little bit of trouble, I hear. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you don't want something out there, don't put it out there. It's the best thing to, to follow. They even said people with it on their phones, they have their conversations and their texts recorded. Thank God I got a stupid phone. <laughs> but if you're if you're not doing anything wrong, what does it matter? Well, no, it's just that it's your personal thing. You know, it could be something, you know. Ever since they enacted the Patriot Act, there's no such thing as privacy anymore. Mm, that's true. And then with everyone marching around to give up their freedom and rights, I, you know, just it's what's happening. Well, some of us still like our freedom and rights. So <laughs> you, you, what you need to do is get rid of your phone, get rid of your TV, because that's watching you too, apparently. And, uh, you know, get a stone tablet and uh, write on that. You can, uh, you know, get candles and light your house that way. You know, I got my eyes on my toaster too, you know. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, the toaster might be after you, too. Yeah, I don't know. Keeping a close eye on that one. <laughs> I guess they, they get all this information just for advertising, just to target advertising on people. Don't know. They were they were saying it was for voting. They were trying to get, it, like, what you're registered as, all this kind of stuff. So I think it's for a little bit of everything. They end up selling all this information to a company. That's incredible. Well, they're not supposed to because when you sign your end user agreement, it says they will not give up any uh, inf uh, personal information. But obviously, that went out the door. You know what? I mean, everybody's information is out there on so many different platforms. Oh yeah. If you don't think that your your personal information has been compromised one way or another. You're living in a fantasy world because I promise you. I mean, if 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 friggin' Russians and Chinese can hack into anything they want over here, yep. You're you're freaking. There's no privacy. No privacy whatsoever. You're right about that. You know what? I say no. I say screw it. Let's go back to the '80s. <clears throat> '80s social media. You went outside and freaking talked to people. Yep, and if anybody heard you, it was only because you were yelling down the street. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Yeah, and that's another thing. Remember, I talked about the bullying before. The bullying oh, has gotten man. even worse now with social media because, you know, they're 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 posting it out there for for thousands of people to see. So it's it's really got to stop because nine times out of ten, that's what these school shootings are all about. These kids were bullied beyond belief, and they just snapped. They couldn't take it anymore. And granted, they may have had, you know, legitimate problems, but that just pushed them over the edge even quicker. Mm -hmm. There's no respect in in this day and age anymore. And that's the key word, respect. Got to respect each other, respect yourselves, respect other people's privacy and property, and, you know, just... Let people go around doing their own business, you know. Respect other thing. people's opinions. Exactly. Just you know, let them go about their day by day stuff. There's no reason why you got to go out of your way to pick on somebody. So I'm sure people could find a lot of things to pick on you about. So if you don't want to get picked on, don't pick on someone else. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Three thousand four hundred and fifty-seven. Gunshot victims in Chicago last year. <laughs> Thank God guns are illegal there. Yep. <laughs> I told you how many at the beginning of this year alone. Yeah. 57 days, 350-something uh, shootings. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's... But yet, you don't hear nothing about Chicago. How come they're not protesting there? Chicago is a war zone. Well, they that should be protesting. That there. is kind of strange. You're right. Huh? They don't mention anything, anything. You don't hear anything about Chicago unless it has something to do with the White Sox or something. That's it. That would be the Cubs. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> the, the, the Cubs were the ones that were in the World Series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know Cubs, I'm White Sox, whoever's in Chicago, the, the Bears. Hawks. The Bears. The Bears. <clears throat> I mean, but, you know, it's just. You don't hear nothing about that. And that's the biggest crime in the country. Nope. Don't hear nothing. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Come on, guys. Wake up. This better be a joke. What now? Snow developing in the morning across southern Connecticut. Oh, I was just trying to tell you about that. I have it up on the screen here, but... Oh, no. Tracking... Uh, NBC Connecticut is uh, tracking freezing drizzle Wednesday morning. Freezing drizzle? Showers and freezing drizzle move into the state after 9 p.m. tonight. Oh, God. Accumulating to snow up. holds off until late afternoon or even or evening inland. No, I refuse yeah, to shovel he anymore. Just, he just used a four-letter word. Mm-hmm. Where's the bat? I can't find that red bat. Throw the cat at him. <laughs> it wouldn't have hurt my cat like that. Oh, wait a minute. Huh. Yeah, April Fools. All right. April Fools. It's going to be 60 tomorrow. What? Yeah, it's going to be 60 tomorrow. This thing on NBC 30 was... Uh, they're describing the... The blizzard that was a bust last week. Oh, yeah. Thank God, too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have to strangle the weather, man. I heard six to 12 inches and I looked out in the morning. <laughs> it was nothing. On Friday, it's going to be 56. Yeah. But Wednesday, 47 degrees with a 30% chance of rain. Well, where you're looking, I heard it was going to be in the 60s. I could take the rain. You don't have to shovel rain. Well,. <laughs> Nope. Well, you can try. <laughs> wow, the cat's back. I was wondering what that noise was. And there was a kitty. Where'd it go? I don't know. It's here somewhere. Keith's gone. <laughs> well, Keith disappeared. Let's mess with the knobs. <laughs> oh, I'm not touching the knobs. <laughs> Hell no. Hell no. What is he what is he doing? I don't know. Well, he hasn't eaten today, so 
<laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> that is it. That is exactly what it is. Well, I step out for a second, you guys. Like, what? What's the matter? Nothing. We were just talking about you. <laughs> I didn't hear it. Good. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> that was the point. So if anybody would like to call in, I forgot what the call in number is. Oh my god. Really? Eight six zero six two six five one nine three. It's only flashing across the screen. Eight six zero six two six fifty one ninety three. Give us a call. Say hi. They rather comment. Or or okay, you could comment. Comments are good. Comments voice are good. voice chat. I can't really voice see. chat or calling into a radio show or out of the questions. But oh, I, I can't see the comments, but... I can't see them either. But back in the day, we used to call the radio station all the time. Request a song, answer for a contest. Did just an airplane say just crash outside? Good God. Yeah, go check it out. Um, I didn't hear anything. What are you talking about? Pretty camera. <laughs> Oh, okay. The garbage truck is outside. Well, I, I couldn't even hear it. So that's why I, yeah, I, I had no idea what the hell you were talking about. <laughs> I know those are big headphones, but come on. No, that's probably, yeah, I got the headphones on. That's probably why I couldn't hear it. Wow. <laughs> are you guys okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm just laughing at the garbage man. Now I hear it. Now, yeah, now it sounds like an earthquake. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Wow. There's there's no peace and quiet here on J Street next to the Hempstead House. It's always some type of earthquake or uh, idiot with these over loud mufflers, and then and then Groton yeah. Groton ambulance <laughs> Groton ambulance I, like all the other ambulances that run through here are you know just beep their horn or or you know do a different siren. But Groton Ambulance likes to come through here when there's not at one car in the intersection and lay on something called the Howler. Or the, yeah, the Howler. It's a Howler, yep. Yep. It it's, it's, sounds like uh, someone is going roar, roar, roar into the ground. Like, you can feel it. <laughs> can you do that again? <laughs> roar, 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 roar. Yep, that's the howler. <laughs> that sounds like Keith in the bathroom. <laughs> Nobody, nobody's got to nobody's got to pay for it now. All they got to do is get Keith stick him on the front of the the, the ambulance and have him go. Roo, roo. <laughs> I can't even like like let me let me turn up the bass on the microphone. This this is what it sounds oh like. Oh my Lord. god! Here we go. <laughs> it's just it's intended to shake. The ground leading up to the intersection. Yeah, I'm standing up on the desk in here trying to move the on-air sign, and all of a sudden I feel everything. I'm like, I almost fell off the desk because I didn't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> it was horrible. I'm like, why should I feel that inside my home? What are you guys doing? I looked on the security camera. Matter of fact, on the video clips, there's one that says howler or growl or ambulance or something. You can see the ambulance go through the intersection, and there's not a damn car there. But yet they're using that ridiculous thing. Could, could be part of the regular, uh, regular siren. Make I don't it, know. They could have it built in. And I don't know. And then we have another ambulance. We we live right on the route that all the ambulances take to the hospital here. And um, we have, like, all the other ambulances sound normal. We have this other ambulance. I call it the Country Singer Ambulance because they have not one siren, but what it sounds like to be three different sirens running at the same time. It, 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 you would, if you were sitting here and you heard it go by, you would think there was three ambulances all following each other. It's just one. So the dueling sirens. Yeah. Da -da -do 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 -do. No, 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 no. You know, country <laughs> singers they they dub their voice like two or three times over. Yeah. And it sounds yeah. like there's. Well, this is the I call it the country singer ambulance because they have their siren dubbed over three times. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I don't know. It's just the only thing I can use to describe the damn thing. Do the woo, -woo, -woo thing. Woo, woo, woo. 
It's not even that. It's like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> <laughs> I called them up. I'm like, uh, aren't you guys supposed to use that, like, if you have a car in your way or someone's got a loud car, you know, stereo system and they're not getting out of your way, didn't you turn it on? Like, you, you turn it on if you need it. And, uh... You know, I, I told him I understand, I, you know, what you guys do are awesome thing. You're out there saving lives. And I understand that a lot of cars don't like to get out of the way of the ambulance. You got someone in the back dying. You're trying to resuscitate somebody. And grandma's in front of you um, in her soundproof car, and she doesn't even know you're there. Or, you know, someone sitting in their car with a massively loud car stereo system. And they're not paying attention, and they don't realize the ambulance is behind them, and you guys are sitting there like, you know, uh, get out the way. So you have to use the siren that shatters the pavement underneath you. I, I get it. Wow. I am going to give this a try. Facebook is facing a backlash on two continents from users, advertisers, and lawmakers for having a loud Cambridge Analytics to allegedly amass information on 50 million of its users. The company's core business that powers around $4 billion in monthly revenue is monetizing everything you do on Facebook to serve its advertisers. However, users may not know that the powerful social media network already has an opinion about your political leanings. And it's fairly easy to find out what Mr. Zuckerberg's company thinks of your political preference. Hidden in plain sight under ad preferences is a selection called Your Information. If you click on that tab, you'll see an option for Your Categories, which contains a section called U.S. Politics in parentheses. Facebook, 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 <laughs> will, Facebook will have you labeled as very liberal, liberal, moderate, conservative, or very conservative. The social network says it fills up these categories based on information you've provided on Facebook and other activities. Under categories, users will also find their birthday, whether or not they are listed as friends of expatriates, and whether or not they will have multicultural affinity on Facebook. It seems like those five labels are the only options for Facebook political affiliation, which is a bit limiting on a platform that lets its 2 billion monthly users choose among 58 different gender identities. So, let's see if we can check this out. All right. Um, let's see. First thing I got to do is I got to go back to uh, go back to my main screen. And... All right, where is this? Glenn, where do I find this? Uh, View history. Um, screenshot. I don't have any screenshots. Options. Selections. Come on, let's go. All right, we're going to try the option menu. Um, what what they say was under options? No. No, add something, right? Library add-ons. Oh, customize. Ba, 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 ba. All right, let's try options. I, I didn't need the whole freaking thing to pop up here. But, uh, okay. Is it an add preferences? Is that what it was? Yeah. 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 Did you get that? Yeah. Okay. Add settings. Now you get your add preferences? Yeah. That's All right, I don't have I, I distract you for a minute to the number. For some reason, this is never active. Look down there. Hmm. Yeah. Very nice. All right. They're Glenn, watching. Glenn, Glenn, Glenn is working on it. Um, oh, my God. You guys have a crap load of comments. What is smart tube? Oh, all right. We don't, we don't need uh, that. I, I, I don't it, that's, like, that's like a YouTube something or other, and I can't get off it. God Tells you it. all your interests, sir. Okay. I have uh, breaking information. Glenn's got breaking. Uh, Glenn. <laughs> Felicia Taylor. Okay. Um, Felicia Taylor. The Russians do everything. I posted that the other day. What do you guys think about Q? One of you guys got to pay attention to the comments. 
I have no comments on my Fli- page. Felicia, Felicia, no if you're watching, call the studio number and, and join in. No comment at this time, please. Because these guys, <laughs> these guys, just you know, we're just all over the place. What, what do you guys think about Q? I, I don't even know what that means. Uh, hey. Okay, I guess you guys can't see me. I'm out of here. <laughs> what is Q? I, I don't know. I don't know. We're old Sorry. people. <laughs> and this tells you everybody, you, every advertiser you've interacted with, <laughs> whose website or app you, app you used, whom you visited. Wow. <clears throat> so, yeah, I guess they are collecting all your information on uh, on Facebook. And where did you find that under? Uh your where, ad preferences. But where do they go to find ad preference? Okay, I'll tell you in a second. He will tell you in a second. And one second. One second. One second is up. I'm trying. This computer is moving a little slow. Is that the computer? That computer's fine. <laughs> I was just going to say, is it the computer? I just, fi- I just updated and fixed it for him. It's Facebook. You go down to the bottom on the right-hand side where you got... No, it's front- called Frontier. Okay. Yeah, it's on the, on the right hand side where you got people you can add friends and all that stuff. Where it says English or anything. Below that is privacy, terms, advertising, ad choices. Uh, okay. All right, here click we go. on ad choices. Ad choices. And then Tell them. you go to ad preferences on the left. Do, 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 do. About you your homepage? Settings. I'll tell you in a second. Yes, you go to settings on that in the middle there. Uh, right there. Okay. You click on settings in the middle. Yep. Somewhere in the middle. And now all your stuff pops up. Your interests, advertisers you've interacted with, your information, your ad settings, and all that stuff. So basically, anything you ever liked is on there. All right, let me check this out. This is this is this is pretty disturbing. Yeah, this is this is definitely- every website you've you've come in contact with, whom you visited. Wow, and more. And some of this on here isn't even. It knows I watch Chicago Fire. Oh, there you go. <laughs> also knows you watch porn. <laughs> really? <laughs> um, I didn't watch Jeopardy. <laughs> uh, let's see your information. All right, I don't see the area where it says. Where they, where they determine if I'm... Uh, business and industry. Let's check that out. All right. Apparently... Apparently because uh, we talk about guns, we're connected with the gun owners of America. Second Amendment of the United States Constitution. Oh. Um, interesting. Yeah. I'm not really liking this. I got cannabis mm. culture. <laughs> Potted. <laughs> All right. Um. So. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's on there. Um. Well, let's face it. It's everything, like you said, is is out there. So. Either live with it or stay off the social media. Yeah. Yeah, I just it's really all you could do. I'm not really liking this. This is no. Well, you know, it wouldn't it wouldn't be so bad if it was like with the user end user agreement where they keep it to themselves, but it's going out to uh, so many different advertisers and, and places and and you know everything that they're getting in trouble for now. Yep. So. Oh God, yeah. Hey, do you guys. Speaking of guns and guns being part of the American culture, do you remember from our childhood, uh, Yosemite Sam? 
Yosemite. 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 I don't know. Yosemite Sam. Yosemite Sam. Yo, Yosemite. Yosemite. Sounds like uh, something out of the Bible. <laughs> and Yosemite said. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know if he. <laughs> Are you okay, Jim? <laughs> Do we need an ambulance with the growler? Uh, <laughs> the howler? God. <laughs> Get the howler I'm over okay. here. Jim's dying. Uh, I'm okay. Ki uh, Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> Yosemite. That sounded I'm native. tired. Kia Haiti. I just Kia Haiti. Kia Haiti. Your Yosemite. Shut up. <laughs> I don't want to hear him even try to say Tasmanian Devil. <laughs> oh no, you don't. The captain goes down with his ship. <laughs> Remember this guy? Oh no, you yeah, captain. Yeah, farmin bugs. Oh, no, no, you're, you're captain. I'm captain and I say you're captain. 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 Okay, captain. Okay, captain. I'm captain. captain. <laughs> but captain. You know, captain, as captain. kids, now, God forbid, if you had a cartoon like this now, it they would. I'm surprised they haven't banned this from from TV or YouTube. It, it shows a character that likes to shoot everything with his guns. Well, did you know that Bugs Bunny was never meant for, to be a child's cartoon? Really? It was actually meant to be an adult cartoon. Because if you hear the things they say, back then a child would have not known what they were talking about. I'll tell you what seems like the Looney Tunes nowadays is our, our political um, situation. Well, unfortunately, I, I, nowadays, no I, I like had, the good old bugs. I had no idea that they were, uh, it was an adult cartoon. Yeah, it was considered an adult cartoon. I watched it growing up. It's a lie. But uh, back in the 50s and early 60s, I believe, when it came out, uh, oh. that was considered an adult cartoon. Wasn't that long. That didn't come out until, like, uh, 70s. What? Bugs Bunny. No, back in the 60s. I watched it when I was a kid. I have to double check. Yeah, yeah. Thought it was early 70s. Bugs over 50 years old. You remember Bugs Bunny... Uh, rides again, duel the shooters. Huh? Huh? <laughs> no. It was all gun violence on our, our cartoons. Yeah, but you know what? Kids were raised properly, and they weren't little shitheads. And... We also had cap guns. Oh, yeah, yeah, yep. I mean, we had all kinds of, of toy guns that we used to go out and play uh, even... war and good guys, bad guys, and cops and robbers and... We didn't shoot up any schools. We, you know, we we didn't do stupid shit. We didn't eat Tide Pods. We didn't we didn't do any of that. <laughs> we had BB guns. Was no big deal. Now forget about it. Yeah. How long are you gonna play bugs over there? What's up, Doc? Listen, stranger, this town ain't big enough for the two of us. It ain't. It ain't. Hey, how long are you gonna play bugs? I thought it was going to go directly to the shootout scene, but whatever. Uh, Bugs Bunny came out in the 1940s. Really? Really? Yes. Wow. We need more sound clips during the show. First, I don't ever remember Bugs Bunny being black and white. Ever. Yeah, I don't remember it either. See? I remember the first version of him. I'd seen the first version of him. It was completely different than, than yep. they had it afterwards. Oh, yeah. His first appearance was April 30th, 1938. And then the official version came out July 27, 1940. You got to figure, because a lot of them were around World War II, uh, a lot of the uh, cartoons itself were based yep. on World War II. So okay. that's, that's he was big during World War II. With the gremlin, remember the little gremlin trying to hey, hit no. the bomb? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was a World War II plane. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So And he was very big in the 60s. Hey, Keith, not for nothing. Why are you coming up with all these questions? I don't know. Because I clicked on Project Arrowhead, and I don't have anything. Um, yeah, Keith. Wait a minute. What? What? I clicked on Project Arrowhead, and I didn't see any questions. Maybe it's on... Um, it's on United FM. Yeah, see? I'm on there now. I'm not seeing any questions. It's under comments. You got to go to live video and click on comments. 
Oh, this, this is too confusing for us. <laughs> right? God. Oh, I did it wrong, too. I don't even know where it is. And that's why we'll have to have him do the comments. Oh, here we go. Let's take a look at this. Okay. Well, that's on a phone. Well, yeah. That's United Times Facebook. The Russians do everything, true. Uh, what by do the way, you guys think hello, about Felicia. Q? Felicia Taylor. Hello. I don't know what Q is. Is that like GQ? Other than Q from Star Trek. Q. The continuum Q. There's, there's one comment. <laughs> one person, two comments. What are you talking about? Wow. <laughs> Go eat something, will you? Well, still, I mean, we didn't, we weren't paying attention to the video, so. Well, yeah, I'll but there's only one person, two on. comments. Just <laughs> scrolling along the top of the screen, just pick up a phone and call the number. Wow. Uh, he's funny. We need to have giveaways or something to get people We're to call in. Call in now. We're giving Keith away. Yeah. <laughs> We can do that. We can give giveaways, but we're you know we we have a worldwide audience. Not everybody's here. What what in the hell are we gonna give away? Keith, man, I can't give you two tickets to a show at the Mohegan Sun if you're living in Puerto Rico. Well, give him Keith. It could be a slave. Or for a uh, week. <laughs> he could be a slave. A, for a, a week. free dinner at the casino if you're living in California. Eric, I'll take that. <laughs> Eric writes. Eric writes. Uh, Q from Star Trek. Did she just say buy Felicia to herself? And then Eric wrote, keep him. Keep who? I, I don't keep him. You? I I guess. Nah, we're, we're keeping won't. Keith. Nah, we'll get rid of Keith. These people yeah, are too. We're keeping these the cat. People are too chicken to call the studio line and she's, call in. She's talking about. What is Q from Star Trek? She, she's talking about the Russians, and then what about Q? And I'm the only Q. I remember Q from Star Trek. I remember, yeah, Q. You know, but I, I, I. Oh, he's saying keep Keith. Okay. Thanks. Nah, sorry, we can't do that. He's the only one that knows how to work the board. So. <laughs> well, that's true. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. We'll keep. <laughs> Thanks, Eric. <laughs> All right, guys. That's it. All right. So. Everybody thinks <laughs> people are saying that white men with guns are the biggest terrorists. Okay. All right. Keith and Glenn. I'm going to go with, I'm, I'm going to give you. This is this a yes and no only? No, no, okay. no. It's one of those where you got to put them in order. Order? Yep. You got you to gotta put them in order. All right, I'm going to give you four ethnicities. And you got to tell me which one you think is number one, number two, number three, and number four. Got it. Okay? Yeah. White, Asian, Hispanic, black, as far as homicide rates. Once again, white, Asian, Hispanic, black. Now, black. He's, now he's setting us up to get killed. No? no. Black, Hispanic, Asian, and then white. No. Okay. But that's funny because everyone that's been involved in a mass shooting so far has been a white person. Yeah. No. Do you notice that? Okay. All these mass shooters have all been white people. Yeah. Well, no, not really. Yeah. The Orlando nightclub was, uh, he was, what was he, Pakistani or something? Oh, was one he was out Pakistani. Of a handful. And the one over in San Bernardino was uh, Middle Eastern. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right, so what, what was I saying that to anyway? <sighs> Homicide rates by race. Okay. All right. Yeah. Keith, white, Asian, black, Hispanic. What's the order? Uh, I'm afraid to answer this because I'm going to be called a racist just for Wait, having an that, opinion. Is that the people doing the killing? Or doing the, the killing, getting... yeah. Okay. It depends, it depends on what area you're in. This is nationwide. This is, this is in the average. United States as of 2014. What? I, I couldn't logically or, or intelligently answer that question. It would be a wild guess. All right, forget it. Well, what I guess. It? That's, what, that's all it is is a guess because I have the answers in front of me. That's why I'm telling you to guess. Is it white? Uh, what are the orders? White, Asian, Hispanic, black? Uh, statistically, from what I've read, it's uh, uh, African-American, Hispanic, and white, Asian. Correct. 
Oh, I was close. 16.2% committed by black. Five? Black against black, though. Black no, against anybody. Overall. Now, 16.27%. All right, then the next one is a just huge drop-off, which is Hispanic at 5.24%. White is at 1.74, and Asian, 0.95. You, sir, are going to be labeled a racist just for talking about this. Watch. Now, how am I going to be labeled a racist? I'm, because I'm, that's what people do. You can't have well, an I'm opinion. I'm providing you, facts. Right, but nobody listens to facts anymore. They all listen to stupidity. Just a heads up. I don't know. Yeah, I know. Big call worse. <laughs> and so far, the only one that said anything is you. <laughs> right, because I pay attention Jesus. to everything that's going on. If you don't have the right opinion, you're a racist. And oh, those, we're just stating the facts, ma'am. Just the facts. And those uh, statistics came out as of uh, 2014. It's and again. Shocked. It's jump since then. It goes down. It goes with all these signs saying white men with guns are America's biggest terrorists. Eric Eric writes, um, black, Hispanic, white, and Asian. And then Felicia writes, uh, Eric, I'm black. No, I was saying I'm out because I don't think PA could see my post, but that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Felicia, what is Q? I think she's talking about Star Trek. Yeah, Star Trek. But you guys can call the studio number. Pick up your phone. Oh well, that would be that would be awesome because Q Q he's got a way of changing history, so we can go back in time and stop all of these shootings. Yeah, that's right. But well, that time has come. Time is time for us. Are you gonna you gonna sing us out? Our family. D I P S H I. Wow. K E I T H. All right, well, everybody. Too late to call in, anyhow. And on behalf of us here at Project Arrowhead, we want to wish you all a very happy Easter. Yes. Have a great week. Have a great weekend. Take care of everybody. Take care of one another. And uh, we'll see you next week. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And God bless.